Hi! I'm coming at you with a vlog this weekend because I have quite a few things on and I thought it would be kind of fun to take you along on the way. So that's what I'm doing. I haven't done very many videos this week. It's been a really busy week in terms of work so I've been incredibly tired which also means that I haven't done a lot of physical reading. I have been reading audiobooks so I'm currently listening to Five Dark Fates by Kendara Blake which is the final book in the Three Dark Crowns series which I have to admit I'm not a massive fan of but I've read all of the other books and I kind of want to know what happens at the end of the series but I'm not a huge fan of Kendara Blake's writing style and it's a series, so the first book is Three Dark Crowns and it follows three sisters who have been, they're triplets technically, and they've been raised in separate clans or communities based on their magical powers and they are princesses and the way one of them ascends to the throne is by killing the other two which is how ascension works in this land so i went into the series expecting something really brutal and bloody and it's just not that it's never been as brutal as i would like it to be and like i said i don't particularly get on too well with kendara blake's writing style she's quite a plot focused writer and i'm a very character driven reader so that doesn't help and also she does third person present tense which i always find a little bit of an odd choice and it either works for me and it doesn't and unfortunately with Kendara it just doesn't. So lots of people absolutely love this series and that's great so if it sounds interesting to you by all means pick it up but I'm in two minds about it. I've bought all of the other books but I'm not sure I'm going to buy Five Dark Fates. I'm borrowing the audiobook from my library at the moment. So I'm listening to that and I've got about eight hours of that left. I'm listening at 1.75 speed, so probably about five hours of listening time left on that one for me. And then my physical read has been The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. And I started this on Monday and I'm only on page 50. And that is because the tube to work this week has just been crazy. I haven't got a seat until a couple of stops before my stop, like the whole week. And so I do a lot of my reading on the tube, but when the tube is really packed, it's just not possible to get out, especially a hardback to read. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of audiobook listening, which is great and fine, but it just means that I haven't read a lot of this. And then, like I said, I've just been so tired in the evenings that I haven't been reading then either. So I haven't made much progress with this one and that's nothing to do with the book. So I'm not really sure what to do because I tend to enjoy books more when I read them quickly and I don't want to start again, but I also feel like it's potentially a little bit unfair to now continue with this one because my reading experience of it has been so staggered so I'm really not sure what to do here but Lee and I are heading out shortly to go and see my neighbour Totoro in Japanese in the cinema which I'm really looking forward to, it should be really fun and we're going to go for some Chinese food as well and then tomorrow I'm going into town again but this time with my sister and my mum to do a spot of Christmas shopping. I don't need to get anything, I'm already done but they've got Christmas shopping bits to pick up. So I'm doing that tomorrow which means that I'm not going to have oodles of reading time this weekend either. So that being said, I'm half tempted to pick up This Is How You Lose The Time War because it's a short story. It's only about 200 pages. So it's potentially a little bit more of a practical choice for a weekend when I'm not gonna get much time to have reading done, but I actually really wanted to read and listen to this one because it's 
although it's short it's also hard sci-fi which is something that I have struggled with in the past because it's not a genre I'm overly familiar with so I have it on hold at the library but it hasn't come in yet it just has been saying available soon for ages so I think that the person ahead of me in the queue is just keeping it for the full 30 days or whatever so I don't really know what to do because this is the sensible choice but I don't have the audiobook yet and I really want to listen to it and read it at the same time and I'm not sure that I have any other short stories that I have well I have some but none that I'm super interested in picking up this one is not that long either I mean longer than longer than that one this one is 369 pages, so I have 319 pages of this one left. So I don't know what to do. I'm also not planning on taking a bag with me to the cinema now, so I won't have a book with me to read on the tube either, which seems a bit stupid, but I'm going to have my phone and my headphones, so I'll probably just listen to my audiobook while we're on the tube. So yeah, reading wise, this might not be the best weekend, but I have other stuff going on that I thought might be interesting for you to see. So I'm vlogging and also I haven't done many videos. So as of right now, it's Saturday morning. I'm hoping that when I get home this evening, I can film some videos then. And so hopefully you'll get this video on Sunday night slash Monday night depending on whether I have time to edit on Sunday night and potentially you'll have a video tonight already anyway as in Saturday night as in by the time you see this you'll have already seen that so yeah that's the plan but reading wise I'm not 100% sure what to do the other thing I could do is tell my sister that I don't want to wait for her anymore and just read Obsidio, which is 600 pages long, but I tend to get through the Illuminae Files books really quickly because they're in that mixed media format. So, I mean, I could do that. I don't really know what to do. I'm also half tempted to just put this in a book sleeve and just carry it and take it with me so I can read it on the tube. I don't, I'm in very, I'm in a not so great place in terms of making decisions today, obviously. But anyway, the clips while I'm out will be filmed on my phone, so if there's a difference in quality, that's why. There shouldn't be, it's really just the audio that suffers and I'll probably just do a montage anyway because I'm not going to have much to say. And that's it for now, I suppose. Bit of a long intro. Anyway. much much later now it's around half past eight at night and I haven't really updated you much at all because unfortunately my headache did come back but as you can probably tell from the lighting I am actually planning to sit down and film a quick video for you all just now so hopefully that will go up my headache is still there but I'm feeling a little bit better than I did earlier, so hopefully I'll be able to stand looking at screen to edit, but we'll see. Naturally, I have done virtually no reading at all, which feels awful. I haven't had a week where I've read so little in ages, and I don't like it, and it's not even a reading slump, it's just a health timing thing, I don't even know. So. That's a little bit sad, but I just don't feel like I can get myself to read tonight because my head just hurts. So yeah, that really sucks. Maybe I'll pick up some manga and see if I can read a little bit that way, but 
I'm probably not going to be updating this vlog anymore today. Hopefully I will feel a bit better tomorrow. Good morning. I've actually been up for a while but it's now 11 o'clock so I'm thinking I'm gonna start getting ready to head out soon. A little bit like yesterday my head is a little bit better this morning but not 100% of the way there. I probably need to head out in about an hour and it's not going to take me an hour to get ready but I still haven't really read anything so I might try to listen to an audiobook while I'm getting ready and I think rather than continue with Five Dark Fates which I will continue with um, but while I'm struggling I think I will continue my reread of the Monsters of Verity duology by V.E. Schwab. So I read this Savage Song during the course of the week on audio and I already have our dark duet in from the library so I think I'm going to start that while I'm getting ready and then if I have time for some physical reading before I leave I will probably pick up manga. So this is Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind by Hayao Miyazaki and it's quite a short manga but my reason for choosing this one in particular is that I already know the story in this one because I've seen the film. But at the same time the pages are a little bit more on the busy side so I don't know but we'll see how into the audiobook I get because I actually have the ebook as well so it might be that I want to carry on listening to the audiobook and following along the ebook while I'm waiting to leave as well but for now I'm going to listen to my audiobook and get ready to go out and as before I will be bringing you along with me. I think that there'll be more footage that I can show you today just because yesterday we went for some food and then we went to a cinema and that's it so there wasn't a lot that I could film for you but today we're going to be shopping around various areas in London so hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more footage for you and we're going to the big lush on Oxford Street so I'll try and get you some clips from in there too because it's very cool. final check-in on this vlog. I think I have this uh, Hogwarts blanket that I got at Primark the other day which is really nice and it's like lined with Sherpa. Fake Sherpa, it's not real. Um, I mean it's Primark, <laughs> was there any doubt? But um, 
yeah, it's really cosy. So I decided to wrap myself up in this rather than, you know, be sensible and get my dressing gown out because I'm lazy. So <laughs> I will do that in a minute. But I'm continuing to fail with reading in this vlog. So I thought that I would just admit defeat for this weekend. I feel really crappy about how little I have read this week but it's kind of too late now for me to do anything about it. It's half past seven, well 20 to eight really, on Sunday night so I'm not going to make any realistic progress at this point but I did just manage to get the audiobook of Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian from my library so and there was no queue for it so I've just downloaded that and I might start that now because I feel like because of all the gaps with Merciful Crow I don't want to carry on this weekend but I am going to pick it back up and carry on from where I got to because I am finding it interesting it's just been a timing issue this week I listened to an hour of our dark duet and then I ran out of time and I didn't end up reading any of Nausicaa because I just didn't I just didn't end up having time but I did have some nice wanderings around London which you will have seen already so that was nice. So I thought I would just talk to you a little bit about my plans for my channel in the month of December because I haven't mentioned this before but I actually do plan to try to do quite a lot of videos in December which I hope that you will find exciting. I'm going to try my best to keep on top of this. I think it's going to be quite a lot because I have a lot of video videos planned which will work out as a video every other day I think throughout December. Let me just double check. So I have yeah so I have about 22 videos planned that I want to do between now and the I don't know 23 23, 23, 24, 24 videos that I have planned for between now and the end of the year. And then I have a few of my January videos planned ahead of time already. So I've got a lot of content that I want to film and get up. So because of the sheer amount of content, it's gonna be at least a video every other day, sometimes more than that I'm not going to set a specific schedule because I do have to still work full time and so I don't know editing wise if I need to stay late at work. I already know that there are a few dates in December where I have volunteered to stay back after hours to help with various things that are going on for students so there'll be some evenings for example where I won't be able to edit and I think I'm going to have to do quite a lot of pre-filming as well which is not something that I do a lot of. In fact I don't really do it much at all. I am kind of an impatient person so once I've created something I kind of just want to get it out there straight away but I'm not going to be able to do that because well it, there'd just be no point in filming and then editing and then uploading five videos all in one go that just would be silly so I'm going to probably have to do quite a lot of bulk filming at weekends and then edit throughout the week and then just schedule videos as they are ready because a lot of them I don't need to film at any specific time. I can film whenever. There are some that I will need to film at a specific time but I will just do those the way that I usually would film, edit and upload videos uh, just instantaneously. So it's going to be a little bit different of a process for me. So I hope it works out. I think that it can work out and I'm really excited about all of the videos that I have planned. I will, I don't want to tell you about all of them but I am going to be weekly vlogging throughout sep um, September. 
<laughs> December. So you will have a weekly vlog from me every week throughout December. I actually have built myself, oh well, with Lee's help, an advent calendar of books. So this is extremely, extremely extra and I appreciate that but I'm fortunate enough where I'm in a position financially that I can afford to do this for myself and this is my Christmas present to myself. So I've bought myself 25 books and Lee has wrapped them and numbered them all and that is my advent calendar this year. So I get that that will seem extreme to a lot of people, I get that and it is but just know that it's something that I've done for myself because I really wanted to and I could afford to do it so yeah so I'll be vlogging opening those every day as well as anything else that's going on but predominantly I'll be focusing on the actual reading that I do in the month of December I will try to do well I will do a December TBR but it will be an incredibly flexible December TBR because there are books in the books that I have in my calendar that I would like to read so if and when I open them they will probably shoot up to the top of the list. I want to do a couple of gift guides so those will probably be towards the beginning of the month or maybe even probably the beginning of December I don't think I'm ready to do those next week quite yet. And then what else can I tell you about? I want to do a video about the books that I'm anticipating for 2020 and the books that I wanted to read in 2019, like new releases that I wanted to read in 2019 but haven't got to yet. I will also have the um, book club videos for January going up sort of mid December as I did this month with the December book club videos. Wow, words. Um, yeah, so I don't I don't want to give away too much of what I'm doing, but those are just a few of the videos that I have planned. And like I said, there are quite a lot. So they will be coming your way very shortly. And I think I'm going to round out this particular vlog here because like I said, there's just no reading happening. I might start Ash Princess tonight. Maybe I'll just try and push on with The Merciful Crow. I'm not sure. I also need to edit this video and upload it so there's a good chance I'm not going to get any reading done anyway because it's quarter to eight and by the time I'm done editing and doing thumbnails and all that kind of thing I probably won't have much time for reading in which case it will probably make more sense to carry on with The Merciful Crow than start something new. But I hope you had a lovely weekend. Did you get up to anything nice? Let me know if you are reading anything good at the moment. Feel free to inspire me. That is always very welcome. And that's it for this one. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like this from me, then do think about hitting that subscribe button. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.